What's up guys? I know it's been a while since I posted a last video and I've checked out my recent Comic-Con video and I was completely blown away of how it actually all came out. And what I wanted to start this video off with is that just the other day when I went to have my eyes checked at the eye doctor, I got a good bill of health from my right eye. My eye, they told me I could get off the steroids that I was using in said eye. And what I'm down to now is taking the pressure drops and the antibiotic drops. So hopefully within maybe the next couple of months I can get off those drops and maybe get this lens out of my eye because God knows I want to get into my cosplay again and complete it with my contact lenses of my Sharingan and my Mangekyo Sharingan. Okay, now for some, I guess, not bad news, but it's just something I have to get off my chest. A uh, couple of days now, if not a couple of years, I've reconnected with a, a friend of mine from high school. Um, I think I've mentioned this person before. His name is Anthony, which is also a little creepy since his first name is my middle name. That just kind of gives me the, the willies, the shakes, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, um, over over the years, ever since I've met this kid in high school, I've always had my suspicions about this one person, along with a lot of other people that have gone to Shaw, where I went to high school. And I kind of figured that when someone, if not maybe a group of people has a a certain IQ to me this is my opinion this is not no, no one else's words or anything it's, this is just mine at the time oh I think maybe now but anyway if you if you had a certain level of IQ maybe somewhere along those lines you may tend to have some sort of psychotic tendencies. Now, when I say psychotic tendencies, I'm not saying someone is going to be like an axe murderer or some big, big name criminal or anything that's just dangerous to the public. I'm just saying just really tendencies that might harm themselves whether socially or financially or just any type of harm that might befall them or any other person but I'm getting off story now after uh, like two to three years of being around this person I've noticed a lot of things that have been going on with this cat. Okay, this guy knows a bit about computers. A lot more than probably that I ever will. Now, whatever I would need to know, know about computers, I could just catch up on YouTube. Because I'm just built that way. I'm built to learn. I'm a hunger of knowledge. But... When it comes to Anthony and his knowledge of technology and falling in with how society is when it comes to freaking crit criticism and things of that nature, it's just kind of taking its turn from the worst, especially when it came to women. My God, this guy was like, well, in in my um, in my side, I've 
he's probably what the most horniest person I've known in high school, which was just a little bit embarrassing for me since I gotta say what I've, I've noticed from him, he's a little similar like me, but I would say it's in a way that if I didn't choose to try to use my my abilities for good, like try to use my intelligence or my physical prowess to do things that 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 would be helpful to other people. For Anthony, however, he would do things only to kind of gratify himself. And man, does this guy has an appetite. And by appetite, I mean we've had one extracurricular activity which we were part of, which was banned, and I'll always be proud of that. And ever since then, he's hit on like a lot of chicks that 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 have come around in the band so far. Which I'm not saying. I mean, I don't mind him hitting on women. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna fault fault him for that. I'm just saying that if you're going to, you know, pick up somebody and get to know them and all that, you might not want to do that consecutively. Like talking to one person, getting to know them, and going to go out and do stuff and then maybe like I don't know maybe like a day or two later be in the same practice or event talking to somebody else and this last person that you were just talking to has heard that you were hitting up on someone else that's kind of rude but I mean, some things, it, it, it may have not happened exactly like I'm saying. You would have had to have been there to, to see what I'm talking about, but it's just basically what I've seen so far. Um, And, like, it really came, for me, it came to a boiling point where, where it was just this one, it was just one person. I, I really don't want to mention any other names, but it was just this one person that, this person that I, I actually got to know kind of, I don't know, by accident or by random chance, um, I guess, when I met this other person, I mean, we kind of just hit it off. I mean, it's it wasn't nothing to, nothing to really go out on a date or whatever. We were just kind of just hanging out and just, just talking about just normal stuff, but... Along comes Anthony with the machismo, which is not all that much. It's microscopic. And he figures that he can put on some charm or whatever with this person. And I'm thinking maybe he'll probably get get whatever he wants out of this person and whatnot. And... I don't. I, at first, it didn't really work, but for I, I I don't really think she was attracted to the guy. But why I'm bringing this part up is the fact that somehow this kind of backfired on to me, where I guess there was one conversation. I guess I really wasn't paying attention to my words, so I was speaking to him, and. I guess the wrong set of words came out or I didn't know what a certain set of words meant at the time and somehow that bit me in the butt a lot by a lot. So but and know that this was at senior year and a lot of things have happened since that conversation kind of well kind of spilled out and got went to a lot of people and things were said things happened but in the end for me 
before I left to go off and do all my college stuff after Shaw, that was kind of the camel that broke the camel's back. The, the, no, not the... No, I'm, I'm getting that wrong. Um, That was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. I just... I really could not take too much of this philandering from this guy. I mean, for me, if I did not get away from him, I would have probably done something pretty terrible. And from then to now, it, it's 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 just still it's it's still somewhere in there. But I feel it was a good thing to actually leave when I did because if I if I didn't, I mean something might have happened that I couldn't take back and you know what I wouldn't I would be in some place somewhere and I wouldn't be able to be talking to you every one of you. So I still stand by on me being the bigger person and just, just leaving when I did. So when I did go and you know, do my college thing. I did, for a time, get get over this cat and meet a whole bunch of other friends, and you know, just get over all the stuff from high school and just just start a, a whole new chapter. So that is pretty much the end of that up to from from the past then up to the present.